the desktop uh, that we have now in the KDE workspaces for is uh, it looks like um, sort of, uh, in a superficial way like a quite traditional desktop not so far from Windows or, or Macintosh but um, uh, if, if we scratch the surface it has some some nice and different capabilities that are also what we can exploit to build upon completely different shells for completely different devices. Um, just a, a, a thing that is uh, quite important because uh, we will find it again on, um, on netbooks and mobile is the concept of activity. Uh, a Plasma application can adapt itself depending on what you are doing now. So you can uh, system-wide tell your system um, now, now I'm doing uh, work-related stuff or now I'm, I'm um, uh, browsing the internet on a mobile or spot so uh, some other things need some ne some automatically updating widget needs to be turned off because you, you paid uh, the connection or things like that. Uh, the, the complete desktop can adapt. You can, it will load a completely different set of widgets, a different uh, wallpaper. It will uh, show a different set of uh, running windows or running programs. It's like a virtual desktop on steroids. And in the future, Application themselves uh, will be aware to the concept of activities as well. So, uh, for instance, the mail client will show s maybe some folders and not others, maybe just the work related folders. And the same thing, the instant messenger will show just the um, work related contacts and so on. Uh, let's go a bit deeper. To the, to the library, what uh, makes uh, all of this possible is the um, Plasma library that is divided quite clearly between two parts, a visualization part and a, a data fetching part. The visualization part is based uh, quite heavily on uh, QGraphics view. The uh, data fetching part is uh, what actually does uh, the job. What, for instance, if I want um, a little widget or a little mobile application that um, is used to uh, browse uh, on online news like RSS feeds, um, the, the widget, the visualization that can be done right now with QGraphics widget as I will show, it will uh, migrate to QML widget in the future. Just, uh, uh, just uh, worries about the presentation of the data, all the downloading the RSS feed, the parsing it, uh, um, making it in a in a really convenient data structure to be to be used by the widget is completely done by another uh, another plugin. Uh, that is the data engine. Uh, the visual part. Uh, it's now, uh, now I will show a brief uh, list of what are the main uh, classes of the, pla of the um, uh, Plasma library. Uh, I won't go in uh, details on the, on the API, but everybody that is interested just to uh, ask me or ask the main list or uh, I can give any direction that are needed. Uh, the every class in Plasma is um, namespaced, so uh, there is also the, the Plasma. The, there is always the Plasma namespace um, on every class name, so I will omit it. The main class for the visualization is the applet. It's actually a subclass of QGraphics widget. It's the basic visual components. What, is a, what it has more than a QGraphics widget? Uh, every applet, every desktop widget, 
is a, is that you see in Plasma is a plugin, so it can be dynamically loaded and un unloaded. So the uh, applet class itself will have um, inside uh, uh, its mechanism to uh, to instantiate uh, one applet based on just the plugin name that could be uh, weather, that we could be taskbar, or whatever. Then they are. Uh, there are a common painting for um, for having a, a coherent look. Then have uh, it has um, some facilities uh, to show config dialogs and to write and load config and so on. Uh, the other really important uh, part is the uh, what we call the containment. Uh, that is actually a, 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 an applet itself. But um, what's important is that uh, um, it's uh, uh, designed to contain other applets, so to um, manage their life cycle, to load, unload them, to manage their geometry, uh, to, um, to maybe uh, do some common setting like enable, disable some of their graphical elements, for instance, in the Plasma desktop. Um, the panel is a containment and will behave in a, in a certain way. It has a horizontal form factor, so all applets will be constrained vertically. Uh, they won't have a, a background. They will be uh, put in a horizontal layout. Different the desktop that, that will uh, draw a wallpaper. It, uh, the, the various widgets will, will have a free layout and, and so on. This is what the containment does. All containments are in a, uh, since they are QGraphic widget in the end, they are in a QGraphic scene. We have our uh, special subclass that is called the Corona. <coughs> it, um, uh, the peculiarity is that with uh, uh, really some, <coughs> with almost, with few exceptions. In the Corona only uh, they are inserted directly only containments, uh, not directly applets that are not containments and, and usually not directly other geographic widgets. Uh, it has also the uh, concept of the association between the containments and the viewport. The viewport it's a view, that it's a geographic view of course, and uh, every uh, view, it has a one-to-one -one association with the containment, so the, uh, the, the part that those view will, uh, uh, will actually display it will be uh, one and exactly one containment. Uh, if there are uh, re resize of the view or the containments, the geometry will be automatically uh, updated. And uh, as the as last important uh, components for the visualization is our widget set, because uh, at the time, uh, basically nothing did, exis did exist, so we had to do our, our widget set, uh, that it's uh, completely based on QGraphics widgets. Uh, they have their their own uh, teaming uh, system uh, that uses SVG, but with some tricks to to make it with a bit more performance to to load memory and disk footprint. Uh, with actually some disk caching, but I can go in details only if if you are interested. The other important part is uh, the data man management. As we, uh, as we said, we want all the real logical work to be clearly distinct from what is its visualization. Also, the data management part are plugins. So only what is used will be loaded. And <coughs> if two uh, widgets, two applets, will uh, use the same one, only one instance will be, uh, will be loaded. The main class for it is uh, the data engine. Uh, the data engine, once it has been uh, instanced, 
a, a client can connect to one of his sources. A source is a string that uh, is uh, unique in the context of the data engine that um, identifies a, a particular uh, piece of data. For instance, a microblog uh, data engine a source could have uh, uh, could have a string that specifies that it's maybe it's Twitter or it's identica with my uh, username. So it uh, will uh, identify univocally what to fetch to the data engine. Then the other really important part is the service because we don't want only to fetch data, we want also to do things. So if I want to, 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 to keep on the, on the example of the, of the microblog uh, data engine, if I want to write a new entry, my app applet will ask for a service that is associated with the source. So the service that let me to post entries associated with my account that so so it will be distinct if there will be another applet ca could uh, could uh, ask for the same thing but for another account so the two services will be distinct and uh, one will do one account and one the other will do the other account and basically that's it. Um, once one is uh, connected to a data engine, that are usually uh, applet instances, uh, well, it's, uh, everything is asynchronous to, to not uh, block the GUI. When uh, uh, the work will be have done, like I had, I had um, downloaded the news feed, I had parsed it and I had put it in, uh, in a, a structure that we call data that is easily, e easily recognizable uh, by, uh, by, by applets and even by binded languages that could be uh, JavaScript, that could be Python, that could be QML. Uh, a lot of the applet will be called, so the applet will be able to update its um, visualization. Uh, the last two boring technical details, then uh, I'll go on demos, uh, is uh, other two important class that I, will, uh, I wanted to talk, that is the package. Uh, because we can write uh, um, applets, in this case, uh, package we call Plasma, uh, of course, in C++. That is the, the most powerful, but the most difficult and the most <coughs> dangerous way. Uh, or we have uh, some uh, language bindings. We have uh, Ruby, we have Python. Uh, our favorite at the moment is uh, JavaScript with, uh, with whatever uh, engine uses QScript, so at the moment WebCore. Uh, and uh, we are uh, developing also a way to write um, Plasmoid Plasmoids use using uh, just uh, uh, QML and nothing else. Once uh, one uh, have wrote a, um, a the complete implementation to be uh, really easable uh, uh, deployable, uh, the source code plus um, a file with the description of the plugin, um, uh, name, comments, uh, eventual icons and a, any other resource that, that could be needed, that could be images, that could be icons, that could be sound, whatever, are put in a certain file system structure. If I will have time, I will show you. And uh, made in a zip file. Uh, this uh, class that is packaged uh, manage the uh, installation uh, and install and uninstall of these uh, uh, packages, packaged um, uh, little widget. 